Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did Mr. Sunrider say, ah, finally someone I can enjoy watching? Damn, bro. I don't know if it's like me seeking okay, validation. Oh, advertisement. This should be fun. Get out home motivation. Ah. I don't know if that's uh, you know, my ego you're feeding or what, but that felt good. That felt real good. I was searching for random streams and no one replied or they were aggro. Are you aggressive? I don't know, Logan. I feel like you've been here long enough to, to know if I've been aggressive uh, or to know if I am aggressive. I just realized I left something in the kitchen. So if you guys can give me a moment and let me close my work chat because that's like dinging in the background. If you guys could give me a moment and we'll be getting started. It's Friday night. We're ready to party with paints and shit. So just stand by, stand by. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. I, you think I am a bit aggressive? Like 15% and 40% if 8-bit <laughs> bit triggers you? Listen, listen, 8-bit doesn't do the triggering. I do the triggering. By the way, are we still in the starting soon screen? We are, we are. I fed your e-girl. Yeah, you fed my e-girl. You know, you know. You retreat back up to, the, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me just a sec. Give me just a sec. Fuck. I'm trying to find something and I can't. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I think we're just gonna have to like say fuck it. We're just gonna have to say fuck it. Oh no, I'm gonna cause a fire. Hello. Hello. Oh, shit. Oh, there's what I was looking for. Beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. So art for today. Yes. Yes, yes. Art for today. Let me lower my music a bit in the background because that shit's in, in my ear right now. And it's loud for me. And then I'll raise it up for you guys. I'll raise it up for you guys. Cool. So how's this? How are my levels? My levels. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be doing art today. Um, it's funny because I was telling 8 the Drumstick that I feel like I always eat on my stream. So he's like, well, just eat before your stream. I'm like, okay, I will. And I'm like, wait. I want to eat a little bit with chat. So we got some arroz con pollo and asparagus. Ya tu sabe. I had a, a lamacon today. What's a lamacon? What is a lamacon? I hope a lamacon's a good thing. I'm like gonna be ducking because my mic is kind of in the way. Oh shit, I just moved the camera. I wasn't supposed to. Let 8-Bit know that I had a lamb. Lamajun or Lamahun? Listen, see, the thing is that it sucks. In English, it's Lamajun. And then in Spanish, it'd be Lamahun. And I speak Spanglish, so I can't choose. Which one is it? 
Llama John. It's Turkish though. What the fuck is a Llama John, bro? What is a Llama John? I'm interested. But, yeah, we're doing art today. We're doing art, it should be fun. We should be finishing. Oh my God, I'm like tightening it up even more. We should be finishing. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This guy. Maybe finishing. I don't want to like have empty promises. Uh, we sh But besides finishing it, I also want to go brush up on this guy. I haven't. I haven't worked on him since I moved from New York. Look at him, he's like crooked. You can't see him right now, but you will, you will. It's Turkish pizza, oh fuck. And what is the difference between regular pizza and Turkish pizza? Um, but that painting, we haven't fucked with it in months. Since, oh my God, since September? I think since September, guys. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. We haven't fucked with that painting for seven fucking months. And I wasn't ready to fuck with it until I felt prepared because it had been, what, six months since I had stopped painting. Um, and that yellow painting is one of my favorite paintings. So I really didn't want to fuck it up because I already know I'm going to be like fucking shit up. I always fuck shit up and it's always fun. It's fun. Um, your art is beyond my mind. Well, it's kind of like a kebab and rolled. Damn. But let a bit know I, that I had one. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be sure to let him know. Um, I'm sure he'll be, maybe he won't be popping by. He's playing Phasmo right now. Um, but, hold on, I'm really like enjoying this. I haven't cooked a full meal in forever, but I will let him know. And thank you so much I'm saying that my art boot is beyond your mind. I really appreciate it. Um, mm, I'm doing better. I'm doing better than the last time we talked. Also, for those of you who were here before, Charlotte from Etsy, she apologized and she thanked me for not leaving her a bad review and she refunded me the $20 that I asked for. So, so I got the pillow, the price of Amazon, so I'm happy. But you know, it's crazy that you ask a uh, Sunrider because I realized like the last few days I've been going through like my anxiety, like symptoms. Um, like I was like kind of like, I almost felt like throwing up. I was like dry heaving and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Th this is like too familiar. I don't like the feeling. Uh, <laughs> there, yeah, so basically, Basically, I noticed all that, and every time that I thought about it was when I was thinking about Twitch. Twitch, because I've been putting a lot more time than what I normally would at this. Um, I feel like I have potential to, like, you know, reach a lot of people, but the thought of that fucking freaks me out. And I see how much work goes into it. And I just like, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve you guys cause you guys are fucking awesome. Oh shit. My mind is something quite weird though. So is mine. So is mine. That's why we've, we've created things like this, you know? Because we're all human and everyone's mind's different. It's funny, this thing's like fucking hanging like sideways. Um. The emo is quite important there. That's why I'm here though. <laughs> yes, I appreciate you, Logan. But yeah, like, I don't know. Um, 
I've just kind of been like a little unsettled lately. After I started having written in my gratitude journal, I brought that bitch out. I fucking, I fucking rogue up in it. You know, the one with the yellow background is like normal mind. So which one's the weird mind? This one? <laughs> this one? But yeah. So I've been going through something. I feel overwhelmed. Um, I see how much like how much time I'm spending on on like Twitch and stuff. I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing, like, but I'm just like in awe by looking at all these streamers and how hard they work and like all the shit and mods and I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a fucking noob. Like, what am I getting myself into? And I get fucking anxious. Could be from Little Nightmares or Little Big Planet. I think you mentioned that before. That it looks like something from from Little Nightmares. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Where's the hot tub steam though? I don't know. We we can make it steamy. We got little stars in the background though. Turn that on today. I'm like, does it even work with all the lights on? We we can actually create some hot tub tub steam. Um hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna create some hot tub steam. We got this. Ooh. There we go. How's that for hot tub hot tub steam? Me mentioning things about little nightmare? No, that won't be me. Are you gonna put the sarcastic face behind that? Oh my gosh. So yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? I know you asked how I was doing. I talked a lot. Today, today's definitely gonna be one of those days that we talk a lot. We're gonna talk a lot. And by we, I mean probably me, but I hope you guys, you know, are involved in this one. Cause I need it. I need you guys. The hot tub streams are so annoying though. And I get it always recommended. What do you mean hot tub tub streams? There's actually hot tub streams? No, no, sarcastic face. I'm not a fan of little nightmares. Oh, okay. I'll still eight bit that too. No, I'm kidding. I think it's a cool game. I've been thinking about playing it. It looks cute. I think the reason that I like it is the art. I guess maybe in the sense that it reminds, like how you say, like my art reminds you of it. Okay. Oh shit, I moved my camera again. Women take on a bikini, go in a hot tub and stream that. Shut the fuck up. Yo. There's something out there for everyone to watch on on stream. I've noticed that. There's something for everyone to watch. I'm sure there's a like foot fetish shit. I'm sure there's there's a there's a streamer who has fucking ducks, and if you drop bits, it feeds the fucking ducks. And do like. 10 sub gifts equals name on my- wait, hold on. Oh, what? I mean, it's- you know what? I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Uh, there's- there's a lot of people that- that do a lot of things. So... But not on Twitch, come on. I mean, if they couldn't do it, it wouldn't be allowed, I guess. You know, you choose what you want to watch. You choose what you want to watch. Um... Hi, hi, heck, BTW. I saw the fan art and I loved it. Should I share it? Should I share it? Let me. Sorry, I'm like getting shit out of my teeth. 
Let me fuck. Fuck. Hold on. How do I do this? I wanna. This is this is starting to get like techy for me, but we got this. Add source. Browse. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. I have a folder of fan art. <laughs> Heck, VTW. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Heck, VTW made some art of 8-Bit and I. Isn't that fucking magnificent? Wait, wait, there's one more. There's one more. Oh! <laughs> Heck, VTW, shout out to you, my dude. This is amazing. Abit's face is legendary. <laughs> He's gonna hate me for showing this, but you know, it, it's it's a it's a it's a nice it's nice art. Today's art day, so we're sharing art. <sighs> oh my gosh. Heck, heck, BTW. <laughs> That was glorious. That was glorious. He will hate you anyways, right? Like, why the fuck did he marry me? Probably a hate me, right? No, no, Ape doesn't hate me. Ape will just be like, you're so annoying. And I'm like, yeah, but you already knew that. <laughs> anyways, guys, let's do it. Let's get to painting. Are you married? Yeah. Yeah, actually we are. are. Are you gonna put the sarcastic face? We are married. Oh shit. It's funny, someone uh, that we both follow just recently found out that we were married and he's like, shut up. And then he's like, oh my God, this, what is this, something lore. And I was like, what the fuck is, I had to, I asked 8-Bit like in private, I'm like, what's a lore? Because I didn't wanna sound like an idiot. Um, but then he told me it's like our story, our folklore story. And so 8-Bit saved his progress with you? What do you mean? What do you mean he saved his progress with me? All right. This guy. 8-Bit <laughs> quick saves. Are you, wait, I don't get it. I don't get your jokes right now, Sunrider. Explain, oh shit. We're already like fucking with things here. Um, yeah, what do you mean, bro? I don't understand. I do, I don't understand. I mean, I just cleaned my brushes for the first time today since we last painted. It was sitting in like green, green ass water. I can't stop laughing. Whatever, at least I'm making you laugh. But careful with your cat, bro. <laughs> What's up, LOL's gotcha? It's so nice to see you here. Welcome to the arcade. Welcome to the arcade. How are you doing today? We are painting. We are painting today. Sunrider is being a pain in the ass right now. <laughs> he's saying shit and I don't, I, don't, I don't understand what he's saying. So I'm like, explain yourself, bro. And he's like, nah. And then he's laughing. He's like, bah -ha -ha. Bah -ha. <laughs> How are you, LOLs? Gotcha. Gotcha. Fed it at 2 a.m. and it didn't come to me afterwards, bro. That cat's using you. That's cat. That cat is using you, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, the thing is that cats are already like kind of independent. They they make it sure that you know that that they don't need you. <laughs> I'm good. I'm very tired. How are you? The art looks great, by the way. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um. I hope you get some rest, by the way. It's it's the weekend, at least where where I'm at, and I'm excited to, to sleep. 
but um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I was just telling uh, Sunrider over here that I've been getting a little anxious lately. And uh, and I feel like it's like the whole, like seeing so many like streamers and stuff and like all the work that they put into it, it like overwhelms me. And like when I, when I think about it, sometimes I'm like, Whoa! but it just means I'm doing something good. It means I'm getting outside of my comfort zone. And usually when you get outside of your comfort zone is uh, when you progress. So, so that's what we're, we're trying to do. We're trying to progress and like, I also started this channel to uh, keep me accountable for painting because I wasn't really painting on my own. So I'm like, all right, if I like set a schedule, I'll fucking like paint. So right now I'm doing like Fridays are paint days, Wednesdays are video game days. And then sometime between Saturday and Monday, I may do a pop-up depending on whether I need to take care of myself or not. And I feel like this weekend I need to take care of myself because I'm feeling like burnt out and overwhelmed and, and yeah, <laughs> I feel like my mind isn't functioning, but it's okay. It's okay because we're going to rest this weekend. We're going to rest this weekend and we're going to take care of ourselves. And we're going to take the dog to the dog park. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. But yeah, man. So, so I've been going through anxiety. A little bit of anxiety. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're, we'll, we'll get over that. We'll get over that. Exactly. It's good to be out of your comfort zone for the from time to time. I totally get the whole anxiety thing though. Bro, that's why that's why I paint. <laughs> or that's why I started painting. Um, I was telling like, well, you're new here, so you really you you don't know. Um, I've I've suffered through anxiety and all my paintings used to be very anxiety driven. Hence why it still looks anxious as fuck, but now there's growth going because I've kind of been taking care of myself. But lately I started slacking and I know exactly what the fuck I've been doing or not doing that is making me feel this way. But also the whole like Twitch thing, it's overwhelming because I, I, I could almost see the potential in this and then I see so many big streamers and I'm just like, oh my God. And then they have discords and Twitters and I, I've created all that stuff because I want to, I want to make this a community, but it gets overwhelming. And I feel like, um, I suck at being con like consistent with things. I really suck at it. And I'm so scared to like let you guys down and disappear on you guys for like six months because I already did that once. I already did that once. I started doing this again. And I feel like when I get overwhelmed with things, I kind of just tend to run away. I'm a self-sabotager. When things are going good, I get overwhelmed and I run the fuck away. So I'm just like, I'm trying to like not get overwhelmed, but I've literally gotten nauseous. I've gotten nauseous. I've been waking up in the morning. Like the way that I poop has changed. Like what the fuck? And it's, and I, I feel like throwing up at times when I start thinking about Twitch. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm definitely going through, through these fears that I always go through in like anything I do. So I know it's good for me. I just can't fucking quit because that's what I tend to fucking do. I tend to quit. Um, another thing that has like been get, getting me anxious is that because I've been putting so much time into, into Twitch, I've kind of stopped like my self care routines, like doing yoga or taking a fucking bubble bath. I was like taking a bubble bath every time 8-Bit Drumstick was <laughs> streaming. I just, yeah, like it was, it was my me time. And now I'm like editing videos and trying to like change up my, um, my, my stream stuff. Like, it's just like, I've been trying to learn and like soak it all in. If you need to take a break, that would be fine. No, I know. I know. I know. Which is why I'm doing it on, on this weekend. But the truth is like, it's not that I need to take a break. It's that I always tend to run away 
when um when things kind of like when i could see some kind of like progress or like success and stuff like with yoga i want to teach yoga and i'm like i could totally see myself being a yoga teacher and i'm just like sleeping on it i got certified and i did the same thing with personal training and i never fucking trained a human being in my life after i got that so it's just like i tend to run away of the th like for the things that i want to do and i don't know if it has to do with like responsibility or being held accountable or or stuff like that but but that's why i don't i don't necessarily want to take a break how long have you worked on this one, 8-Bit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor 8-Bit. I, I put 8-Bit through like a hell and back with like my mental health. He's been a fucking saint, man. He's been a fucking saint because God knows. God knows when I was going through shit. Like I made him go through shit because misery loves company. Like that's the shit that I was doing. And now I like, it's my ego. So <laughs> remember last time he made a comment like, oh man, and she has a huge one. I do, I do, but I'm working on it. And I'm, a, I'm a, so much better. I'm so much better. This is actually the first time in like, I don't know, this is the first time since like, maybe, October or less actually yeah since like our, actually no no it's been longer it's been like maybe like 10 months since the last time I felt like throwing up from anxiety it's been that long um but yeah it's just like I've taken so much time and the thing is like I'm, I know I'm using it as an excuse too like I feel like I'm taking super long to edit videos and stuff to like not face like my other responsibilities like committing to yoga because that's that's one that I've been like fucking up with. I've been saying I want to teach my friends on Zoom just to at least start teaching and practicing and then like invite like my Instagram, maybe you guys if you guys want to do some yoga, I don't know. But um yeah, I just I'm disappointed at how much time like I've been putting into other things when I was also really excited about this thing. And then because I tend to like quit on things, like I get nervous thinking about like how well this is going. So like if I take a break, <laughs> I might disappear and I don't want to fucking do that because I tend to do that. And we're done doing that shit because it's 2021. <laughs> And we're not gonna run away from shit. We're gonna grow together. <laughs> we're gonna grow together. Well, hopefully Twitch doesn't have you feeling anxious for too long. No, it doesn't because once I'm fucking doing it, I'm excited as fuck and I love talking to you guys. And honestly, like if you're hearing me right now, this is my fucking therapy. I also go to therapy, but this is like a therapy on top of therapy. So thank you so much, guys. Um, no, I really have fun with it. I just feel like, I have a, a problem setting boundaries, huge problem setting boundaries. So that's what I'm kind of struggling right now because I'm kind of like an extremist. What extremist? When I do something, I go like all in. I go all in, and and then I I burn myself out, and I don't want to do that. I really, you know, I really enjoy this. I really do. Oh, what's up, Frog Legs? How you doing? Happy fucking Friday, bro. Happy fucking Friday. How are your uh, Resident Evil speedruns going? Have we have we beat your your personal best yet? Have we beat your PB? Oh, guys, by the way, um, I don't know if it's been approved yet. But I've added an emote finally. I've added an emote. So if it's not approved yet, it should be approved by, by next stream, hopefully. But it's a, it's a little heart that says your mom. It's the, the your mom pins that we made on Etsy. And I was like, you know what? This is, 
Ape fits the one who suggested it. He's like, this is fucking perfect. I hope I'm not getting paint on this shit. This is fucking perfect. So, like, maybe you should use it as your email. I'm like, holy fuck, that's a great fucking idea. So, we're gonna have a little heart soon that says, your mom. I'm excited for that. I love that I have fucking wine behind me and I'm drinking my old tea. Hi, little peen in the back. Oh my gosh, that's right. You wanted to see the little peen in the last stream. I feel like I've shown him every stream since I got him. Yeah, the little peen is in the background. Look, there he is, heck. Here's a, a sideways view. We're getting all oh, like a 360. 360. Oh, we should. <laughs> the little mascot of the arcade. <laughs> Make a peen emote just like this, right? With the smiley face. Aww. Aww, yes. You know what? That might be a thing. That might have to be a little thing. Heck. Did I kick? Oh, we lost Pikachu. We lost Pikachu. Cool. Yeah, that's actually a great fucking idea, bro. I like that. Wait, excuse me. <laughs> what is that? It's a little peen pillow. <laughs> it's a peen. Heck, I feel like, is that how you spell peen? That's not how you spell peen, right? Is that bene? Every time you, you say it, you spell it like that, I read bene. Uh, and then I think of a pasta. It's like a little noodle. We should name him noodle. All right, so, I don't know. <laughs> That's it, guys. The peen plushy has a name. His name is Noodle. Thank you, BT Dubs. Thank you. That's what I was thinking every time you were. N oh, Bene. I didn't think it was an actual dill. Wait, what do you mean? An actual dill? What now now what are we talking about? Now what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't want to say penis just in case Twitch does something about my co my comment. Um I don't have any like shit like blocked or any of that stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But but yes, it, I I call it peen because I think peen is a, a cute word for penis, and it's a cute plushy. <laughs> Dill or dew? Dew. That is what I call the T. <laughs> Dill. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, so that's a little peen plushy. Uh, LOL's gotcha. That is, that is the little plushy I got <laughs> on Amazon. I saw it on Etsy and then I found it on Amazon cheaper. So I went that route and honestly, it's, it's so perfect. I don't know why I decided to get it. I mean, I, I know why it's cute as fuck, but yeah. And I totally forgot that I was having that in the background while doing like work meetings. So I'm like, I'm like my bad. They haven't said anything. But recently I started hiding it from the work meetings because, you know, if you guys can see a peen plushie, I'm sure they can too. Although when I'm doing my work meetings, it could be overexposed. <laughs> it's an overexposed peen. I was, I have never seen anyone else with that plushie. <laughs> I guess not. I actually shared it in, um, in the streamer I follow, uh, Alien Mune, I shared it in her Discord. I, I announced when I got it. And the truth was I hadn't gotten it yet, but I, I had it in my cart. And I knew that 8-Bit, my husband, was watching the stream, so, and I had already shown it to him, and I'm like, I got it. I got the plushie. I wrote that on the stream. And I sent it on the Discord, and she like shared it with everyone. And uh, and he's like, no, no, please tell me you did it. And I'm like, fuck, now I have to get it. So then I got it. <laughs> I, got, I got the plushie. It's it's honestly one of my favorite plushies on the on the bean bag. 
I really like my my turtle, my fucking blue shell. Look, it's behind my Twitch pillow. And I, my Tigger, <laughs> my Tigger, that, my mom actually brought it up for me. So my parents, my parents are moving. My parents are moving. And um, they've been driving up recently. And every time they drop, like every time they drive up, they drop off a load of my shit. Um, I'm like a four hour drive away from them. So whenever they come to visit, they literally like drop a load of all my stuff. Clothes, um, fucking stuffed animals. So Tigger, oh shit. Tigger was one of them. And that's actually my first like ever little boyfriend. This was I think like eighth grade. So my first ever little boyfriend gave that shit to me for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's right. This block is fucked up. Let's just throw it away. He, oh, he gave me that for Valentine's Day because Tigger is my, my, was my favorite Disney character. Um, is, I guess. It's, it's been a long time since I've connected with, uh, with the Tigger, the Tigger stuff. But, um, Tigger is my my favorite Disney character and um and what was I gonna say oh so he he gifted me that on like our our Valentine like our first Valentine's Day together well it was like our only Valentine's Day together because relationships then didn't really last too long um but yeah so that's where that plushie came from and my mom brought it up and I remember telling Ava I'm like oh my god this plushie I'm like this plushie is like my first real little boyfriend that I ever had and he laughed he's like that's cute but he, he rolled his eyes and he said oh my god and then he laughed and said that's cute I remember I got it with like these like plastic little not plastic it looked like fucking plastic it was like these candy heart lollipops that tasted terrible tasted terrible but I was to the moon and back <laughs> that's a bean bag back there I thought that was your bread no 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 it's a queen sized bean bag actually let me see if I can show you guys it actually has a queen sized mattress inside um but it's a bean bag <laughs> I can't I can't yeah see it's, it's just a, a little a little circular bean bag. It's cute. It's cute. I really like it. Oh, that's really big. Yeah, it is. Oh shit. That's right. I forgot that I could like turn it here. Am I doing this right? Hello guys. How are you doing today? Oh, here it is. Yes. Too much beanbag, too much beanbag. Okay. Also, how's Bender and Ape It? So, Bender's doing good. I feel like this is too high. Bender's doing good, and Ape It right now is playing Phasmo with, uh, with some friend. So, so yeah, everything, like, we're, we're doing good. I think Bender's probably chilling either at my door or behind behind 8-Bit's uh, desk. But they're doing good. Bender doesn't stop growing. He's huge as fuck. Like, huge as fuck. The energy is real because he's a fucking puppy. Oh, I hear, I hear 8-Bit saying, Bender. So, so he's, they're good. <laughs> they're good. They're hanging out. They're hanging out. Um, how, how are you doing? I mean, 8-Bit, heck. Did I ask you how you were doing? I forgot. I forgot. So if I, if I forgot, I'm sorry. We're giving a little more depth to the, the blue flower. Oh shit, I have like a loose, a loose hair. No! Wait, maybe this. 
Here, you can see it, right? No, no. There's a hair. I'm doing fine. Oh, I'm glad you're doing fine. I almost brought, bought River City Girls. Bro, that game is so fun. You totally should. You totally should. I think I'm gonna... I don't know what to do because I was also playing Pokemon. So I don't know what to like alternate between Pokemon and River City Girls. Um, I think I might continue playing River City Girls. 8-Bit Drumstick might join me next time for River City. Um... But I'm also getting Pokemon Snap at the end of the month. So I also want to play that too. And I'm like, how am I going to have this? <laughs> Where am I going to get all this time to like play games, like work and shit? But we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out and it's going to be fun. But I would like to see more River City. I am definitely going to be playing more River City. I think that that's going to be like the game I play until I check it off my list as completed. My goal is to finish that game. So, so we'll be, we'll be doing it together. That's what I like to hear. Damn right, frog legs. Damn right. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, River City Girls is actually a lot of fucking fun. I was a little intimidated to um play it solo. But I feel like I kicked ass. I feel like I did pretty good playing it solo. I beat that first boss, it took me a while. Oh shit, no. It took me a while to beat that first boss, but I fucking did it. What was it? Isuzu or Misuzu? Misuzu, that was her name. Is River City the anime arcade style game? Yes, LOLs. It is. I was I was playing that on Wednesday. It's such a good game. The animation is so good. The fucking like little movies, the cinematics. It's like all anime. Um, it's just good. The story, like it's it's cute. It's a cute fun game. It looked hectic solo, and you made great progress. Then it got a little confusing figuring out where to go. Yeah, I, I, so I still actually, I should probably Google <laughs> where I need to go. I know that right now I need to go to, um, the, our, the mall, the mall manager, he's sleeping and he has the keys. So the people were saying like, just wait for him to get back. And we're like, we don't have time for that shit. So we're, I think we're supposed to like break into his house and get the keys so we could go to the mall and open it ourselves. But yeah, it was fucking hectic and I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself that I got that far. Um, I told 8 that he should join though next time because it, it is really fun playing with another player. It's really fun playing with another player. Yes, yes. But I, I really enjoy it. The f Every time I, I play it, I'm like, oh, this is such a great game. And I never finished it, so I'm kind of excited to do that with you guys. See, there's a lot of things we're gonna do together. <laughs> yeah, two player would be much more fun. It would be because the thing is like, when when we play, we like, we bitch at each other all the time. Like if one of us is dying, we could actually revive each other. So, um, so 
like I'm really good or I was really good at revolving um 8 bit but fuck he sucked at reviving me and I was always like more vulnerable like I always just kind of like threw myself into the fights so I would die more often but he would never be able to revive me I think he like revived me twice and I revived him every fucking time. Oh shit. Like every fucking time. Oh my God, I'm dying. I could hear 8-Bit in the background playing Faz and he's having like his freak outs. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If anyone else has seen um, 8-Bit Drumstick Streams, who loves his fucking panic attacks? I'm there for the panic attacks. I'll be lurking, like I'll just have my computer playing and I'll be doing my own thing and I could hear him screaming through the wall. No! You see, you see? I'll be hearing him streaming through the, I mean, streaming, screaming through the wall. So then I'll run to my computer to see what the fuck happened. Like I'm all for it. And then I, I, I make fun of him for it. I've got to head out, but have a great rest of your stream. Hopefully I'll be able to catch more of your streams though. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, LOLs. I appreciate you staying here, hanging out, chit chatting. Um, I hope you have a good night and I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. I, I stream on Wednesdays and Fridays. So hopefully we will stay committed to that. But I, yeah, I appreciate you coming. I hope you really have a good night and I'll see you. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I forgot to tell you because you followed when I wasn't on stream. So I just, yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Have a good night. I love his son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's funny as shit. It's so funny. I'm there for, for all the scares. I'm like all for it. That's like when I, when I really, <laughs> when I really don't lurk and I'm like, I'm just there. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. So good. I'm like, how how do you say all these things? All I can say is fuck. <laughs> no, fuck. And then oh no, fuck. Just like that. Just like that. I fucked up. Um what's up, Wabbit? How are you doing this Friday night? We're control alt deleting right now. We are control alt deleting. Control alt deleting. Why the fuck did I paint this purple when I wasn't done with the yellow? Okay, that that was uh, I needed to get that out of my system. <laughs> he is allowed to be my character though. What do you mean your character? Explain, Logan. What do you mean? He is allowed to be your character. How are you? How are you doing tonight, Wabbit? How are your paint streams going? I've seen uh, that you've gone live a few times. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make it. But next time I'll just pop by and say hi, even if I can't stay. Do we have a clip? Oh shit. Wait. Oh no. All I can say is fuck. All I can say is fuck. Oh fuck. And then, oh no. <laughs> All I can say is fuck. No fuck. And then, oh no. Fuck. That's the thing. All I can say <laughs> That one's good. Actually, hold on. Let me reopen it and then pause it over there. That is fucking great, bro. Frog salad. Frog salad. You are the first person who ever clips me other than myself. 
That was a good moment. I appreciate that. <laughs> did acrylic on canvas board and did another quickie paint on glass. Oh shit, bro, that's awesome. That is awesome, fucking with the acrylics. What's up? Oh man, I'm like, I'm on a roll today. I am being sloppy. <gasps> so sloppy guys this is why we haven't worked on this guy yet this is why because because <laughs> i'm losing my train of thought um because i don't want to fuck it up See, I'm scared. I'm scared of committing to things, even if they're good for me, like finishing that painting. Oh! <gasps> Same reactions as the games, guys. Same reactions. Less of them, but still the same. <laughs> Hey, hey, though. Whoops, forgot that. Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, I can do a lot of acrylic. Yeah, I know. I know, that's why I was like, whoa. How did it go? My trick to acrylic is that I paint it, I wet the brush with water, dab it on a little towel. Actually, I wonder if I could uh, get my, wa my water bowl, too. Or like my little... Oh man, no, no, let's not move it too much. Let's see if I can bring the drawer out though more. No, you still can't see it. Fuck. Huh. So I will put it in water, dab it, and then the, the leftover paint, I use that to to blend and like create shadows. And then I'll dry it and pass it over again on the most like area furthest away from where I started it. So I could take some paint off and that way I kind of create like an ombre or like a gradient. That's pretty, I, I don't know how I figured that out. <laughs> Probably fucking up a lot. And I was just like wetting shit and stuff and it just happened. It went okay, not too bad really. I don't mind acrylics, still do it wet and wet the oils. Yeah, man, I mean, you gotta, you gotta do what you like. You gotta do what you like. I don't know, I can't, I, I don't have the patience for oils, man. I don't, if I have to wait for it to dry, did you notice what I did? I fucking dipped it wet my brush and try to get some off because now I'm gonna use it to blend. So I want it really watery. Um, yeah, you gotta do what you enjoy. I don't have the patience though for, for it. Cause I hate the waiting game. I hate the waiting game. But I mean, at least you did it, right? You, you fucked around with some shit. Oh, that's right. We gotta do the shadows. Oh, this is the exciting part. Slash a little bit nerve-wracking. Actually, no, it's not too nerve-wracking. This is the exciting part. Now I start adding shadow all underneath here in grays. Ooh, we're getting gray. We're getting moody. Where the fuck did I put the white paint? Oh, <laughs> we put it in this one. Sorry. I have two egg cartons. I got these guys. Look how cool that is. I want to turn this into like artwork. 
I think I'm gonna get a canvas and just like glue it on. Have you ever punched through a painting? I feel like it could be fun. I have, because I was trying to do an abstract one and I burned through it. There is a section that I punched through it. Um, I burnt through it and I don't know what else I did to it, but I fucking hated it. So I never, I never finished it. I never finished it. I think I tossed it because I was moving and I don't know, I just, I didn't like it. I used uh, pastels, I used uh, chalk pastels on them. It's a big glass of wine. Hello, cheers. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I really didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would have. Um, and I don't know, I haven't, I haven't done it since. AKA Rioters Art. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, Rioters Art! Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I didn't. I should try it again. I should try it again because I know that I would enjoy it. I totally would enjoy it. Um, because I enjoyed like burning it and stuff. I just really, I fucked it up with the pastel. And instead of painting it, like instead of painting over it, I fucking didn't. I just like, I'm like, well, now there's a hole in this and blah, blah, blah. And I made an excuse and I tossed it. And I was like, now that I think about it, talking to you, like talking with you guys about it, I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? I could have like painted over it and made something awesome. But I didn't do that. I tossed it. I tossed it. Thy art is murder. It is. Thy art is murder. It is. It is. No. Not meta. Oh my gosh, guys. I, my back is hurting. Oh, fuck. I wet my brush in blue and I wasn't supposed to. But you know what? No, no, we're not going to do that. I was going to say, maybe we'll make the shadow blue. It would look cool, but I'm not going to do that because I already did most of it in, in gray. Yes. Yes, yes, thy art is murder. That needs to be darker. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Control alt delete. Control alt delete. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. All right, what side are we gonna do the shadow on? Hmm. If this is the shadow, I need to take this out too. Okay, all right, <laughs> we've saved it, we've saved it. Actually, you know what? I haven't posted that I'm, that I'm live. Let me do a little. Come say hi. <laughs> okay, that's going, that's going. Onto my Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Stories. Boom. Live. Live now. Link in bio. Live now. Twitch. <laughs> Your underscore mom dot com. Doing this right now.
and post and go to the other account. So what are you guys doing um, this weekend? Does anyone have any fun plans? I plan on doing absolutely nothing and I'm so excited for it. So excited for it. Do not tag me, fuck. Fuck. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Add it to my story. Let's add it to my story. Uh, I probably won't do any, I, wait, hold on. I probably, okay, okay, we got this. I probably won't do painting again till middle of next week. I'm staining cabinets, trim in a new house the next four to five days so my arm will be tired. Oh, that's fair though. That's fair. I hope that goes well. Oye, loca. Oye, Benji. Oye, Benji. Como esta? Como esta, sir? <laughs> How are you, bro? How's your night going? How's your night going, man? It's been a while. Are you working late tonight? Are you working late tonight, Benji? What are we doing this fine weekend? Oh, my dog is barking. I wonder if I got my new beanbag cover. Hey, Apic, it might be my new beanbag cover. I don't know, but it might be. However, there will be plenty of baby bunny snuggles in the evenings. Yes, how many baby bunnies do you have right now, Wabbit? Um, todo bien, todo bien, tiburón, <laughs> todo bien, tiburón, oh, I'm glad you're doing good, man, I'm glad you're doing good, guys, he called me a fucking shark, that's what tiburón is, tiburón in Spanish is a shark, say it with me, tiburón is a shark, tiburón is a shark, Tiburón is a shark in Spanish. Tiburón is a shark. Tiburón is a shark. Now we're translating Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> tiburón, yeah, tiburón is a shark. 19 right now. Holy fuck, 19 bunnies. Damn. Damn. That is a lot of babies. Do you keep most of them or do you sell them? Oh, fuck. Okay, guys, I put the, the gray in the worst spot and I keep mixing it with every fucking color. I've mixed it with blue. I've mixed it with black. I mean, I created it with black, but still I mixed it with black. I need a uh, somewhere. I read somewhere today actually that sharks, he wait. We're here 500 million years before trees. Shut the fuck up. I mean, that kind of, sharks are definitely like ancient. I feel just the same as alligators. I felt like alligators would have been more ancient or probably are more ancient. But um, I mean, life was on under, like in water at first and then it came on to onto land, so it makes, I guess it would make sense that they existed, like, that they existed before trees, damn, but before trees, fuck, but that's like before there was land. So I mean, yeah, I guess. That's crazy, bro. Those are some crazy facts. So una locura, bro. Crazy. We won't see nine. We won't see nineteen survive. Oh, maybe around thirteen, fourteen, but most will be show animals or maybe a few to sell to other breeders. We don't do family pets. That's fair. I mean, you have like champion bunnies. 
So like that would make sense that that the people who would be interested in it are not people who who would just want them as pets. Oh, I fucking put the gray where I wasn't supposed to on my palette. Fuck. Fuck me, Freddy. Bro, before trees, part of me is like, nah, right? I mean, a little bit, but like, it could make sense if you really think about it, though. Like, knowing that shit was, we were under, everything was underwater. We all know that things were underwater before. So, maybe? Maybe? We used to do pets, but it's honestly a pain in the nutcracker. Yeah, but not only that, I'm sure that people who, who are like more into bunnies, like not as pets, um, know more about like proper bunny care because like, for example, I have two parakeets and those parakeets are spoiled as fuck. Spoiled as fuck. And knowing the attention a bird requires, I know that some people get parrots and just like stick them in their cage. They don't get their out time. They're just fed seeds their whole lives. They don't get like a bath. Um, they like kind of think it's like decoration and sometimes the bird gets mean. And it's because they're not used to being handled because they're in a goddamn cage all day. And it's just like, I see so many people like, they're a lot of fucking work, man. They chew everything. They chew the doors. They, they chew trimmings. They chew cabinets. They shit everywhere. Um, they're like walking little termites slash raptors. If things don't go their way, they make you bleed and you need to be okay with it because that's, that's bird life. Um, so like people are like, oh my God, I see you with your birds. And it makes me want to get a bird. And I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. But, you know, they, they look like they're, they're so cute. And the way that don't do it. Are you going to hang around with a bird on your head for an hour? No? Then don't do it. <laughs> Are you okay with it taking a shit on your monitor and chewing your webcam cables? No? Then don't do it. Walking out of the house with shit every day on your shoulder. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, parakeets are fun. Parakeets, uh, I actually have the, I think it's the largest parakeet. It's a green cheek conier. Um, but parakeets, like little budgies, those things are feisty and they love to play with toys. So the more toys that are on their cage, the better. If you throw balls, they'll like chase them and run with the balls. It's hilarious. One of my French lops, his name is Charles, was out for a bit on stream last night. Oh, I missed him. That's pretty cool though. Charles. Dope. Dope. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's keep adding some shadows. Let's add the shadows. Oh well, not little, not little 12 pounds, but still he's a sweetie. He's a 12 pound bunny. So you know he's eating right. You know he's eating right if he's a 12 pound bunny. Guys, I think today I might play Phasmo for the first time after stream if the guys are still playing. And 
I am excited and nervous and I'm gonna turn the lights off in my room to make it a vibe to get scared <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna be go all abstract on my next painting. Oh my gosh, bro, do it. That would be dope. Have you, are you used to? Have you done an abstract painting yet? I haven't done an abstract painting in years. Years. But I would love to. Never done an abstract? Oh, you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna have so much fun doing it. You don't even know. Just don't overthink it. Don't overthink it and let the brush strokes go. Let your mind just go. Try not to control it because when you control it, you get stuck. Single jam is sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out adding white considering that I've already done some shadows. Oh, I gotta give it rosy cheeks. Yes. Um, because I don't want those areas to be too bright, but I've like fucked up in those areas and like spilled paint. So I'm trying to go over it. <laughs> Just trying a little bit. I feel like my earphone's about to fall out of my ear. Look. Fuck. Looking good though. Thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. It hasn't been so interactive. Usually I'm like asking like the colors and stuff, but once it gets towards the like the end, like once like the flower stuff is done, it kind of just, you know, I just need to finish up the shadows and stuff. But whenever we start a new painting, I ask for a lot of help. I asked for a lot of help. Right now it's a little different because it's really close to being done. What the fuck did I do with the white? Oh, I've been using it from like the actual tube. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. It looks great. I wish my lines looked as crisp. Um, It's a lot of practice. It's so hard, but it's also like OCD. It's definitely OCD. It was not like that, which is why I used to outline um, most of my paintings in black because when you outline it, it tends to be forgiving. I actually wish that I could lose a little bit more control when painting. But I don't allow myself to. Um... I see some people like paint with such a loose hand and everything looking like all warped and shit. And I'm like, this is fucking beautiful. And if like you stand back from it, like you could see like the whole painting, like, like if it's different up close, then, then it is like, I don't know. You get my gist. You get my gist. But yeah, I've always looked up to that and I'm like, fuck, that is dope. But I don't know. I, I, I have like this sense that I need to uh, 
control this and I'm like, it needs to be perfect. And it doesn't. It doesn't need to be perfect. That's why I admire like loose, loose hands in the non-pervy way. Loose hands in the non-pervy way. Close up on the collab middle flower. It came out great. You pulled it together great. Thanks, man. I'm actually going to add it a little more dots. Actually, I could do it now. Um, let me Give me a sec. I'll show you now. It actually looks good without the extra little dots. But let me just... Uh... Oh, shit. Get that done. All right. You want to see a close-up of the flower? The collab flower. There it is. Benji, you're the one who chose the colors of like the blue. Well, the blue was already there, but you said orange and yellow. And then was it, someone said purple, someone, white and nerdy said black and brown. And, and I forgot, I forgot, but it looks a little yellow. Let's do the close up here. It looks so, oh shit, I elbowed the fuck out of this one. Thank you, thank you, I'm glad you think so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's OCD. It's definitely OCD if you want to, you can see like the gross little teeth. It's like a super close up. And then you can see like where I've like piled on like too much paint before and I painted over. That's what I like about like actual acrylic on canvas. Like you see the footprint, but it is pretty dope. Guys, I, I don't want to say it because it's mine, but in this angle, like you see the depth. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's so cool. Honestly, like looks awesome. The paint texture looks cool as fuck in the middle, middle. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really proud. <laughs> I never, I never give myself too much credit. Um, but ever since I started streaming my, my art, I've seen, oh, I just bit my tongue. I've seen like the progress and the growth because it wasn't there. It wasn't like that before. I could tell you it was not like that before. I can't see it at the angle, but I agree that it looks awesome. Facts. <laughs> Don't let Nerdy hear you though. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just the thing is that because the, the colors were so dark, usually when you mix like black, um, black, you lose other colors. So like you, colors colors so you can't really see like the purple and stuff but i it came out dope it came out dope and oh it was benji you're the one who said to do it like little dots that's what it was so white and nerdy said black and brown ape it said purple so i did the center black brown and dark purple dots and then benji benita said to do do little freckles of it and that's what we came up with and originally this flower was supposed to be light blue to dark blue to darker blue and then a yellow center. But I tried it and I didn't like it. So I, I asked chat and uh, and Benji suggested these colors and then everyone else is like, do it. And fuck, I wish I would have asked chat about these flowers because it could have been a very different painting, but like in a good way in a really good way so i i really do want to start my next one because i like how you guys are suggesting like using odd colors that don't really match like this flower pops so much and it's so cool like i'm used to like doing things with like structure you know so you have you have like the pinks the purples this is orange with like a red center this needs something like blue or yellow or something that pops and same with this so it's like like this was a lot for me to just like let go 
that 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 thing that I was telling you to do, flat wabbit, about painting abstract. That's uh, I I need to let go. I need to let go, and because chat suggested this, like it came out awesome. It wouldn't have came out this way without chat, without you guys. Like it would have not, never. Like it wouldn't have never looked this good. This is awesome. This is awesome. <sighs> Uh, you are part of the screenshot now. Wait, there's a screenshot? Hold on. He has to hear it and then I will hit him with kind of weak. What? No, don't say that to nerdy. If you go all the way to the bottom of my IG versus the stuff I do now after a year, it's so rewarding to see the progress. 100% man, you see the growth in it. Um, was the whole purpose of posting stuff just to track the long-term development? Uh, to an extent, the I used to have an art page. I got locked out of it. And I wanted to continue doing it on that art page. I started... I started streaming just art. So then I created an art page to announce when I was going to be streaming because I didn't want to bother, like, regular, I guess, people who aren't interested in streaming. Like, I didn't want to blast them with it and I didn't want to just fill my whole page with art like I occasionally do it my personal page but and then part of me started saying like I should fucking fill it up with art because that's who I am and this is my page but like, I haven't done that so I have like separate accounts for like everything and I don't know I feel like I need to like conjoin them <laughs> I need to conjoin them but I'm not too active on Instagram just like in in my art account occasionally when occasionally <laughs> can't talk occasionally when i stream i i post what what we do together there and i just got a TikTok. um so i've been announcing my streams there i've been announcing my streams on twitter but i created the account to see the progress i love to see the progress like from sketching it out on the canvas and seeing colors start laying out on it and then seeing the depth and it's it's amazing to see it little by little developing. Um, but I also did it a way to connect with you guys because at the time I didn't have any other social media accounts just for for like my streaming. So so that was my way of getting it getting out getting it out to to the world or like to people who don't know me. Um, isn't it though so nice to look back at where you started? It is. Hi Minina. Hi mom. By the way, guys, Ebony, Ebony02 is my mother. <laughs> so your mom's mom is in the house. Your mom's mom is in the arcade. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey mom, how are you? Happy Friday. I'm drinking a lot of wine. Ya tu sabe. I love you and I miss you. Thank you for the love and support. Guys, shout out to my mom. The original OG, your mom. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Should I be worried? No, frogs, you shouldn't be worried. You shouldn't be worried. My mom knows all, except for when I vent about her on my streams, but I make sure she's not watching when I vent about her on my streams. By the way, I winked, but sometimes I'm not kidding. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I'm sorry. There's no filter here. It's my safe place. It's my safe place. So, you know, it's out there. It's out there for the world. Have some wine. Wine is good, right? So what you're saying is I'm famous? What do you mean? Hello, your grandma.com. Oh my gosh, Logan. Uh, mom, you just got called grandma. They just called you grandma, Logan. But it's okay, Logan means well. Your grand, your grandma.com, I like that. No, it's okay, she, she is a grandma. <laughs> grandma. I am a grandma, you see with little hearts, she's proud to be a grandma. There's, there's no offending grandma.com. <laughs> I love you mom, thanks for stopping by. Fun little surprise when you do. I don't expect it. I get nervous sometimes. <laughs> oh, cool grandma. Yeah, she is a cool grandma. 
No, sometimes. Sometimes you're a cool grandma. You like to think you're a cool grandma. You need to lighten up and have more fun. And then, and then we could talk about being a cool grandma. We gotta go mini golfing. We gotta go mini golfing and then you'll be a cool grandma.com. Coolest grandma in NA. What do you mean in NA? What do you, what's assuming you live in NA? No, no. Florida. Florida. The coolest, the coolest grandma in Florida. You heard that, mom? Oh, this is great. As a matter of fact, guys, my mom is, was an artist. Don't forget your sunglasses, Ewani. Oh shit, oh shit. You can't be a cool grandma without sunglasses, Ewani. <laughs> Coolest grandma that makes badass macarrones con queso. Damn! Benji just gave Ebony a shout out for her cooking. Tremendo compliment. Yo, those macarrones con queso are fire. But guess, Benji, guess who, who she taught how to make them? This bitch right here. This bitch right here learned how to make them. Would you guys, would you guys want to do a cooking stream? I'll tell you, I'll give you the list of ingredients and we'll pick a day and you can meet me in my kitchen. <laughs> and I could teach you guys how to cook your very own macarrones con queso, Cuban style. <laughs> a cooking stream? Oh, hell yeah. Got some blue blockers, old school. Aww. Mom, you're the hype. You're the hype in this chat. How do you feel about everyone uh, learning how to make your macarrones, Ebony? Or mom? I wonder if she's lurking. I wonder if she's lurking. Or if she got mad when I told her she needs to lighten up a little bit or that I vent about her. <laughs> I would love to learn how to cook. Maybe we can do it. Um, it won't have a fancy mic or anything because I'm not going to move my PC to the kitchen. But, you know, we're used to doing phone streams, right? So we, we could give it a try. Thanks for the macarrone compliment. She's still here. Oh, gee, your mom is still here. Yeah, they're, they're good. Oh, my gosh. You see, this is what happens. You saw this? This is what happens when you leave your brushes in water for too long. The wood just starts chipping off. And then you have like a, just a regular wooden brush, which I kind of like more, to be honest. Like I, I really like it natural. I made garlic, garlic hun chicken last night. It was awesome. Ebony, why don't you start dreaming? dreaming? Dreaming frog legs. You see what's going on here? I can't speak. Why don't you start streaming cooking on Twitch? That's why I came out dreaming because I was thinking of Twitch and streaming. Emily, you should totally do that and I will host you. I will raid you. <laughs> I will raid you. And then everyone here can go, can go into a... <laughs> Put in noodles. Oh, mom! I got a new pillow. Don't be embarrassed by my new pillow. Dreamings. He likes cooking dreamings. Look at my new pillow. Isn't it cute? It's a little peen. And his name is now Noodle. I'm sure I, I, I'm making her proud right now. <laughs> Macarrones con queso first episode, you see? But I'm leaving now, going to watch some TV and look for houses. Good night, everybody. Good night, mom, grandma.com, Ebony, 021. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you for much for stop. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you. I appreciate you. I will talk to you. All right, guys. Everyone, give a a good, nice goodbye to my mama. We should. I should talk to her about um doing cooking streams. She's gonna be like, I don't know how to do this. I can't. I can't. She. She's sure she's good. She's good at Facebook, man. She's good at Facebook. She's on top of that. Um, but but the rest, she pretends that she doesn't know how to do it. When she has YouTube in her hands and and you could just Google everything. And if you could do Facebook, you could do a lot of things. So I should convince her to like start streaming her cooking and throw her to you guys, or throw you guys to her. And we could all start making bomb ass cooking stuff. I wish there was a way that I could like collaborate, like add her camera and she could teach us how to cook and I'll make it too. That would be so dope. Um, love you, mom, good night. <laughs> Tell dad I say hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, Macarona con queso. First episode, you need some nice comfort food in that cold weather you move to. Benji, she's not wrong, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Oh my God. Oh, that was such a nice little, little guest appearance. <laughs> Your mom's mom. So good. She pops by every so often. She's like, I really want to, she, she says that she was like watching my streams when I first started streaming. She's like, I saw that you were streaming and I wanted to write to you, but I can't. And I'm like, oh, cause you need to create an account. She's like, how do I do that? So I, I told her how to do that. And she, she started like supporting. So cute. I messed up the Bitcoin app. So I'm not that good. You didn't mess up. You ended up buying the Bitcoin, didn't you? If you were able to buy it and you know how much you bought, then you figured it out. So I wouldn't say, you know, you may have messed it up, but you figured it out. You redeemed yourself, Ebony. You redeemed yourself. You should share the Paggy's video. She's a great chef. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so my aunt, uh, if you guys have an Instagram and want fucking fantastic food and I mean like fucking fantastic food she she you can find her she's uh the mad table m-a-d like mad I've gone mad so she's the mad table I'm sure she has a website which I'm 98% sure it's the mad table.com and like she came up with like I think recipes was it everybody was it for like Salads for a certain, I think she created like seven salads for Subways when like once they started getting like serious for salads. Um, she she does a lot, like my seasonings, the the ones that I cook with are, are from her. She she made me this like, this lavender something seasoning and she, she labels it like what you should cook it with. So that one's good with salmon. So every time I cook fish, I use that. Um, but you guys should check her out. You got your mom to buy Bitcoin? I got my mom to buy Bitcoin. I got my mom to buy, was it Ripple or Ether? I got her to buy Ether because Ripple's still not available. But Ripple is growing and it's getting me excited. Ripple is growing and it's getting me excited. But yes, yes, I did get my mom to buy Bitcoin. I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. And she did it by herself. Like I, I did like talk her through, but I wasn't sitting next to her. Because every time Ripple's still wild, right? Ripple, yeah, like right now Ripple is going through the whole thing since it's in court. Um, but it I think it did win the lawsuit. Whatever the lawsuit what I was, I never really got totally into it. But I think that they won, and ever since they won, that shit has been climbing. Climbing. And I invested in it when it was like, 
I think 30 some cents. Yeah, it was like 30 some cents when I got it. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, hey, honey bunny. How are you doing, aunt? How are you doing? I missed you. It's been so long. I mean, probably like a week and a half, but that's so long. Oh. Like, not quite sure how they want to treat them? What do you mean how they want to treat them? Oh, you're talking about invest your whole bank account. No, I'm not going to invest my whole bank account. That's that's wild. That's wild. I invested a little bit. Just a little bit to see how it goes. And if, if it goes well, then it goes well. And if, if it doesn't, well then, it's like gambling, right? It's like gambling. And everyone knows that when you go gambling, you bring cash and you leave your card at home. <laughs> because there's ATMs. And you want to stay away from those ATMs if you have your card. Because then you're like, what's, what's, another, what's a little bit more? What's a little bit more? That's why you aren't a billionaire yet. That's exactly why. That is exactly why. Hey, er, uh, I can't talk. I can't talk. Hey everybody, what's good? Happy Friday, peeps. Happy Friday, and uh, how are your Sims sitcoms going? I haven't been following through with the episodes, but I'm sure that they're progressing. I'm sure they're progressing. Or homeless. You're right. I'm not homeless. I am not. So so we're good. We're doing good in life. Ooh, I hear Ape talking about me and I'm curious. Oh, he's talking about when I worked in New Zealand. Yeah, that was that was rough, but that was fun too. But with your D thing, you are kind of like a homeless guy. With my D thing? What do you mean with my D thing? Are you talking about my plushie? Cool, so we got some shadow around the eyeball area so we can make it pop just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah, ah, just a little bit. <laughs> Plushy right, Pina, not Bennett, Pina. It's Peen, you guys. It's peen. It's a peen pillow. I love this painting. I love the background. Purple is my fave. Purple is my fave too. And no way. Thank you so much, by the way. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I gotta make the, the cheeks a little bit rosy. The cheeks, los cachetes, necesitan ser más rosy. a little bit just a little bit rosy <laughs> purple equals superior but toy would have been a bit misguiding though oh my gosh peen toy <laughs> yeah that would have definitely been misguiding people would have been like okay did you get a, a plushie or a dildo it's a peen toy yeah. all right let's uh oh my gosh Oh, that's too, that's too white. That 
That looks terrible so far, but it's okay. We're gonna fix it. Let's choose another brush. Let's lower the pink a little bit on this side. So yeah, I guess purple is superior. Purple is like what the color of like royalty and shit. Purple used to not be my favorite color. Mine was like, it was blue, then it was red, then it was pink for a really long time. Um, and then there became a point that I was like between, and I kind of feel like I still am between orange and purple. Definitely between uh, red is nice as well. Red is a good color. Red is a really good color. I used to love red. There was a time that when I was like in middle school that I wanted to make my whole fucking room red, like the whole thing. And I remember getting like this, uh, the CD player that was also a radio and it was red. And I was like, I felt like such a happy child because it was red. Loved red. Now I tell people that my favorite color is clear because you could see all colors right through it. <laughs> orange, hmm? Yeah, orange. Frog, of course it would be green. Come on, come on. I mean, there are different color frogs, but. Oh, I hear Ray 8-Bit talking about the dark days. The dark days, the days we got overworked. It's cool, it's cool to know that we worked on movies, but fuck man, that shit burnt us out. I gained like 30 pounds. We were working 96 hours a week. 96 hours a week. So when people are like, oh my God, cool, you worked on Iron Man 3, yeah. Yeah, but I lost years of my life. <laughs> I 100% lost years of my life. Damn, I fucked up this blush. But I don't like blue very much. Aw, well, blue's, blue's whatever. I, I still like it. I still like it, but it's an opinion. <laughs> I'm like getting offended. I'm like, how do you not like blue? No, you, you could like not like blue. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Freaking weird frog. Uh, blue can be solid, but can't reach top tier. <laughs> I love how you guys all feel this way about blue. What has blue done to you? What has blue done to you guys? Oh my gosh, it looks dirty. Pink cheeks were the worst idea. I wonder if I could still like erase it because that whole area used to be dry before I started painting over it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We're not freaking out. We're not freaking out. We're used to this. We are used to this. This is when I start screaming, control alt delete, control alt delete.
We saved it. We're not giving this bitch pink rosy cheeks. Fuck that. <laughs> yellow is gr gray combined with black. Any yellow enjoyers here? My best friend's colors are, favorite colors are yellow and green. So whenever I hear yellow, I'm like, oh, my little, my more little. Everything is, is gray combined with black. Come on. I mean, but have you seen uh, purple and orange combined? Hello. I love purple and orange with green. Purple and orange with green is just like, Pah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, Pah. okay. All right. So, what color are we gonna do the eyes? I'm asking you guys questions. Should we do a brown? Should we do an orange? Purple and orange, should we do its eyes purple and orange? No, we're not gonna do purple and orange. Maybe we could do orange. And that way it's like there's a little bit of orange here and a little bit of orange here. I think that's not a bad idea. What can't you say? What can't you say? All right, guys, I'm gonna take a moment. I will be right back and we'll get to the eyeballs. But in the meantime, let me know what color, what colors do you guys wanna see the eyeballs? We'll, we'll take a vote, um, but be right back. Be right back. We are back, we are back. I see a suggestion of orange or green. We are back, we are back. What color are we gonna do these eyeballs? We are back, mm. we are back, mm. All right, so we got, we got orange or green. I mean, I, I was down to vote for orange, and if you're giving me the option of orange, I think I'm gonna have to take orange. I don't know if I would like green, just because there's already so much green going on around here. Um, but we could do like orange, we could totally do orange. Are we good with that, guys? Are we good with that? I was like, I was really close to doing them the color of those because it is supposed to kind of be that character, but not. Um, but yeah, let's let's do orange. And I think I'm not doing black outlines on these guys. I've actually been like really enjoying their depth. Sometimes there's one painting that I did the the eyes. I just outlined the eyes. Actually, I kind of want to get your opinion. I want to get your opinion. There's one painting that I outlined the eyes and then the rest, I, you know, I'm just kind of going with it. Oh shit. And I didn't outline everything else. It's this, this one right here. Oh, kicking stuff. All right. So this one, I didn't, I didn't outline the eyes. I mean, I outlined the eyes. I left everything else as is. This was the first painting that inspired the, the flower stuff. Um, so what do you guys think I should do for this painting? Um, whoop, this way, <laughs> what should I do for, 
this painting? Should I outline eyes? Or should I leave it as is? But I still do need to add the little, the little like tire eyed eye things, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I was thinking of doing them like a gray, but I don't know, I wanna hear opinions. You have to see the eyes immediately, exactly. When they're green, it's not so special. Um, I mean, I feel like my eyes would get drawn to the eyes if it were, if it were green, but I also feel that it would be drawn to it because you're just kind of like, it would make you feel uncomfortable. Because when I think of seeing that with green eyes, it makes me feel uncomfortable. And uncomfortable, maybe I would like that for, for more anxious face paintings. Sorry, I was like looking at the paintings that, that are like anxiety. Um, but this one, I kind of, you know, I, I want to make the eyes softer in the sense that I don't want, I don't want it to make you feel uncomfortable. I want you to be like, oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, can you show me the difference again? So, well, this would be the perfect example. So this one's completely outlined, but we could outline just the eyes, like how I did with, with this one. With this one, I left everything unoutlined, but I outlined the nose and the eyes. So I'm wondering if for this one, whether I should outline the eyes in black or leave them as they are. Um, Ah, uh, okay, so I thought, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What did you think, Sunrider? What did you think? Leave them? So don't add the black. Okay. Okay. So don't add the black. Um, should I add the, the dark lines like how this is like oh shit how this one is kind of like freaking out you couldn't see the difference though dark purple black you'd be surprised you'd be so su surprised though what you can see i mean maybe <laughs> maybe you're right but i feel like you'd be surprised because there's some colors that like the, the pen is really like, it has a different texture to it too. Um, so it almost looks matte. Um, and then you'll see like how it's not shimmery in that area at all. At all. It's definitely matte. So you would kind of tell, but it'd be subtle. Now I wanna see. That, that's the thing with black though. With black, you always save it for last because if you fuck up and you smudge, that's gonna be one of the hardest things to clean up. Which is why this painting looks so clean and all my paintings in the past look like shit because everything I used to outline in black and I'm like, I have no control with the black paint. Because, because I never waited for my paintings to dry. <laughs> but we've learned, we've learned, we've come, we've come far. Uh, can you show me the difference again? I read that from your painting earlier. So what I thought, leave them. You couldn't see the difference though. Now I want to see. Yo, frog, support me. That's all I needed to read. <laughs> Yo, frog, support me. <laughs> I would go with leave it. I mean, that's the safest, that's the safest thing. Leave it. I mean, I could do dark gray paint. I do have dark gray. I could do leave it, and if I ever change my mind, I could apply it. But you know what, in the meantime, in the meantime, we still have stuff to paint. Uh, we still have eyeballs, eyeballs to do. So. Anyways, I'll just leave this one back here. Um, yeah, we have eyeballs to paint, so we could we could decide that later. Oh, fuck. 
Well, that didn't go as <laughs> planned. Okay. Okay. Stay. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Don't make me choose. You have to. Rest in peace. Yeah. No wonder it has that face. It's being held by thumbtacks. All my things on my walls, for the most part, everything, everything but one thing in my whole room is being held by thumbtacks. Adulting, guys, adulting. It's the easiest way. I'm just like a screw and a hammer. No, just like done done so a lot of things like kind of like pop off my walls yeah all right so we're gonna do orange oh my god we're moving on to the eyes we're we're getting there holy fuck we're getting there guys this is exciting this is so fucking exciting guys we're on a journey together we're on a journey together. We're gonna, we're gonna do some eyeballs. We're gonna do some eyeballs. Okay, okay, okay. Where's uh, do I have another orange? I feel like I should have another orange. Yes, yes I do. But it's almost done. Okay, okay, we got this. I'm geeking out guys, I'm geeking out. We're moving on to eyeballs. Backstory. Backstory. Eyeballs. Oh, another clip. Let's listen to it. I'm, I don't have the option to do the web thing right now in my Streamlabs. Um, yeah, we have eyeballs to paint, so if we could, we could decide that later. Oh. Damn it, the screen's stuck. Um, Sunrider, clutch. <laughs> that is such a good clip. Oh my gosh, hold on. I can't. There's like too much equipment in my face. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> that clip is amazing. Oh my god, that clip is so dope. <laughs> so good. I loved it. You need a Discord for clips. I do. I actually have created a Discord, but I haven't done any of the channels. I created my Discord like last week. I have a little icon thing. It's a paintbrush, but now I'm thinking it should be something else. Like it should be my own thing. Oh, it could be the fucking thing that I'm going to start using as my emote. It should be that. Okay, okay, we're gonna change. We're gonna change the picture. And this weekend, this weekend I'm taking time to like do me. Um, but I'm also going to work on my Discord. I'm gonna work on my Discord so we could get some channels going. We could see more fan art from heck BTW because that, that uh, King Kong one and uh, the Mario was amazing. I think some of you missed it. Some of you missed it. Do you guys want to see it? Do you guys want to see the fan art that Heck created? It's pretty good. Oh, I am. I am Heck. I didn't know you were still here. Thank you so much for lurking. Ready, ready. We're going to show your artwork one more time. Do, 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 do. Heck, Heck created this uh, fan art. And I actually have it in a folder called fan art. And then he created do, 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 do. <laughs> He created this one. It's good. It's gold. It's gold. Right there. <laughs> That's 8-bit drumstick, everyone. Um, that is my husband. He streams and he is a riot to watch. I know some of you already already follow his stream, and that's actually how you found my stream and met me 
But if you don't follow him, just go go check check out his page. Check out his page, and then you could decide whether you want to or not. Um, but I I suggest right now he's been playing uh, I think Link's Awakening. But I really suggest like going back to um any clips he has from Alien Isolation. Or any horror game. That's like, that's where you get your like, kicks. I mean, all of it's funny because he's been doing accents and shit for, for the Link's Awakening. He's entertaining as fuck. <laughs> Ape and Drumstick is entertaining as fuck. So if you don't already, go check him out. But heck, heck, BTW actually dropped those images in 8-Bits Discord. And he's like, did you see the pictures that heck posted? And I'm like, no. What are you talking about? He's like, check my Discord, check my Discord. And I'm like, I don't feel like taking out my phone. He's like, hold on. And then he, he opened up his Discord and showed me and I died. And I'm like, bro, heck, heck is a funny dude. Heck is a funny fucking dude. <laughs> Zelda, Zelda Wind Waker. Okay. Who found your channel because of 8-Bit? Um, weren't you in, in 8-Bit's channel? Just post an invite link in Curly's Discord. Let us know when it's done. All right, sounds good. I'll also be adding it, uh, adding it, uh, I can't talk. I'll be adding it to uh, my panels down below as I as I start getting like different social media accounts. I I add them. Guys, what do you think of the the orange eyes so far? They're weird. They do draw attention. Holy fuck, this character looks dope at least through camera. I feel like it looks it looks it pops through camera a lot more. Oh my god, should I even do uh black dots in the center? Or should I leave it that neon orange? <gasps> this is so not my typical style. But I'm kind of fucking loving it. Stop. Yeah, and if you go to Apid's stream, if you're lucky, you'll hear him too. <laughs> yes. I totally took a, a clip from that. I totally clipped that. I'm like, clipped it. He's like, please don't tell me you clipped it. Clipped it. <laughs> Looks like pink to me. It looks like pink to you now. Just because of night shift, the eyes are piercing. They are, right? Let's see. Let's see if I could. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm really fucking excited with this. Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta add, I gotta add white. I gotta add white. Oh my god, guys! Dudes! Dudes and dudettes! Holy shit! I'm freaking out right now. This is so cool. It looks so good. Actually, I need a smaller brush. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't contain it. Guys, this is... <laughs> this is me and my element. <laughs> this is me and my element. Okay. Oh, it's my patience it's still too wet to like dab it in but let's uh give the teeth a little little highlight on the top Oh, 
The excitement is real. The eyes are piercing. They are frogs. Holy shit. Okay. I'm like starting to like become cross-eyed. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I want that that to be like done. Let's see, let's see. Ah, not yet, not yet. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm really happy with this. I'm like freaking out a little bit. Oh wow. Um. Should I give it freckles? Like little gray freckles? It doesn't have the lips like the other one. But I don't think it needs it. Or should I give it lips? I hope it's truthful. I wouldn't mind learning how to cook. It's really coming together. Just a little question, was that a joke about you cooking stream or might that happen? I mean, if you guys want it to happen, we can make it like happen. I don't know about like right, right now, but we could totally, I I could see that happening. And maybe like if, if I'm up for it, maybe I could put my PC and 8 that could join me and we could make it like a whole thing and like wear, wear hats and like uh, I could maybe bring my <laughs> gato out and while we're waiting for things to boil but the truth is that you're not you you never finish like chopping and stuff because you're like constantly doing things when you're cooking this but then there is a point that you wait for like 25 minutes um so during those 25 minutes maybe if like you guys have like switches and stuff uh well some of you guys don't uh, but maybe we, that's the night that we could like play Brahalla or something while we actually wait for everything to finish like simmering and cooking and stuff. And I don't know. It, it sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. But, but right now I, I need to like focus before I like really burn out. That's, it sounds like so much fun though. I really, I really do kind of want to do this. I wasn't kidding. I've seen a bunch of people, um cook and stream and i'm just like oh that's that's strange but like now that i'm like talking to you guys and like my mom was here we talked about her food i'm kind of like inclined to to really do it <laughs> we could all eat together it, ha it would have to be it would have to be like a weekend stream that for sure it would have to be a weekend stream because you know, I can't, I'm not gonna have you guys cooking macarrones con queso at fucking 11 o'clock at night. I'm not. Um, you know what? Let's put this to just chatting because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be calling it a night very soon. Are you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start putting like, oh, 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 yes. I'm gonna start putting like a, a schedule. Well, my schedule is like now till like 11, 11 p.m. Um, but Brahalla would be a good choice. It would, right? It would because all of you guys could play. So that would be, that would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, let, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's try to plan a cooking night. It would have to be on a weekend. I will... It'll be once I have like my discord up and running and I feel more comfortable because there I could like post the ingredients and you guys can go get them there. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, I think, I think we can make this happen. I think we can make this happen. Um, I just, I want, I want time to plan it well because I don't want to half-ass it. 
I, I want it to be a good, if, if we're gonna, if we're gonna have this special stream, it needs to be an event. <laughs> It needs to be an event. Let's go Fortnite. I've never played Fortnite. Um, I've never played Fortnite. I actually just downloaded Phasmo, which is what I'm gonna go do after the stream. I'm gonna learn how to play Phasmo. Um, and so I'm gonna learn how to play Phasmo. I just got Phasmo and I just got uh, Fall Guys. So that, that should be fun. Let's go Fortnite. Fortnite, maybe, maybe in a little bit. I have so many games that I want to play. Don't do it. Well, um, don't do it. Why? Why? Do you guys not believe in me? Do you not think I could do Fortnite? I probably can't do Fortnite at first. But listen, I used to play games like with keyboard and shit. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm super rusty, but I can only imagine it's like riding a bike. Kill me if I'm wrong. Literally in the game, <laughs> not in real life. Uh, but it's kind of wild though. I know I've seen it. I've seen it and I love all that shit I used to play uh, fucking Call of Duty the the Nazi zombies with my friends all the time during break after Between school because I used to go to nerd school. I loved it. I loved it. I did computer animation and uh, A lot of people were in uh, game arts, too so during during a uh, break we would go and hang out at the house chill if you know what i mean and play fucking call of duty on a projector nazi zombies i fucking loved it i loved nazi zombies and then the the black ops i don't know it didn't do it for me it didn't do it for me and after that i never really played call of duty again um i used to play halo with my cousins they used to have it like this is like halo one uh, how you could play capture the flag and fucking um, The other one that you just snipe each other the fuck out um, Slayer is it Slayer? <laughs> but they they each had an Xbox they were brothers they lived three houses away from me So they each had, had an Xbox they each had their own rooms So at some point they figured out how to fucking like wire the Xboxes together so they could play against each other um but you know th th there was no internet like they weren't playing through internet um so there was always a wire running across the hall every time you came to visit and there was a lot of kids in our neighborhood growing up um so we would split up into teams sometimes uh in groups of four sometimes in groups of fives but we would split up into teams and one team would go into one room and the other team would go into the other room and we would always play eight on eight, capture the flag and uh, the slayer. Apes is a good alternative to Call of Duty. Oh, Apex. Souls Born is a good alternative for my everything. <laughs> I have no idea what, what any of those are, but I'm sure the longer I hang out with you guys, the more I will learn <laughs> for sure. But um, yeah, so, so you never know, I might be okay in shooting games. I might, I might be able to ride my bike again. <laughs> That's what we're calling it. Mom, your mom.com learns to ride bike again. Southborn is more of a genre. It includes all of, all the Dark Souls as well as Bloodborne. Okay. See, I've heard of those games, but I, I don't even know like what you have to do or any of that. I'm like, I've always been like with Nintendo and stuff. Guys, I think because I poured out the white paint and the yellow paint seems dryish, I'm gonna do the dots and then I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna do the dots and then we're gonna show them to you. But no, no, we could totally do, I think the, the cooking stream should really be a thing. It should 100% be a thing. Oh no! I fucked up, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> no, it's crying yellow now. Okay. Okay, we're just, we're gonna leave it like that, but I wanted to show you guys 
But this eye, I could do it. Right? Yes. And I'm gonna outline it with a little bit more yellow later. So exciting. What time do you think you would start cooking though? Um, well, I mean, we can all talk about it and see what time works. That's right, because you're like, you're like super far away. Um, it could be an early afternoon thing. So then that way it's di dinner for you guys, lunch-ish dinner for us. <laughs> like for 250 followers or something like that. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, you can make it as a community reward though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a, there's a, someone I'm following. I, I've mentioned her before, Alien Mune. Uh, she's doing a slumber party, a spooky slumber party tonight. I mean, tomorrow night. And I think it's like an event that you're supposed to like uh, gift, like your little rewards or your, your channel points. And if you make it, like it goes towards something, but it's gonna be like a slumber party night or something like that tomorrow. So I'm actually really excited for that stream. But, um, all right guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Ah, oh, shit. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I w oh shit, I'm like stepping on everything. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Like. Seriously, you guys make my Wednesday nights, you guys make my Friday nights, you guys make my nights whenever I pop around. <laughs> and uh, you guys keep me laughing in Curly's Discord, in 8-Bits Discord. So I can't wait to have one with you guys, all of you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I hope you guys all have a fucking fantastic weekend. Thank you for the stream, your mom, and the company of everyone. Oh, frog legs. Frog legs, you're too kind. And let's see, let's see. Uh, next stream, next stream, I should have my emotes up. I don't think they're approved yet. I don't think they're approved yet. No. No, they're not. But they're going to be a little heart that says your mom, and I'm really excited <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Keep us updated with your Discord server. I, I definitely will. Um, whenever it's created, I will let you know in my stream. And and I'll have all the links to it uh, in the panels. So you'll just be able to click either in the about me or like wherever the fuck. <laughs> wherever I can put a Discord thing, it's it'll be there. It'll be there. It's already created. I just really need to like work on the channels and stuff. So that will... That will be happening soon. And I'm, I'm excited to share it with you guys. We'll just watch someone around the world put some colors on paper for, <laughs> for two and a half hours. Hey, listen, it's not paper. It's canvas. Can this. Get that right, Sunrider. <laughs> no, for real, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. I really hope you guys have a fucking lovely weekend. Thank you so much for fucking hanging out with me. Uh, it's just uh, a fuck, a fuck kind of day, but it was a fun fuck kind of day. Yeah, I know, I know. I know too many fucks. Um, anyways, guys, I love you. I love you all. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend. And we will chat soon. We will chat soon. Uh, 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 uh. Yourmom.com is going to go play some Phasmo. You guys all met your grandmom.com or grandma.com. I don't know what else to say. I'm excited with my painting and you guys helped me all the way. Good night. It's the weekend. I hope you have a good time. <laughs> oh yes, you're probably shaking your head no or laughing. Oh, I don't know what to put on this section. Good night, good night. All right, goodbye.